Hey, hey everybody, it's Ryan Huckel at showmeokc.com. Really excited today with the W3 to kind of tell you about this cool little district of town down here. We, uh, we started kind of digging into things a little bit, just thought it'd be cool to kind of shoot down here. And we started finding out this area really has a history of these three guys that come down here and realize that there's, there's like this cool history of this part of town and that they could turn this in and revive this and, and, and really do something with this and turn it into a cool part of town. So really excited to show you this. So check out the video that we've got coming. As a historian, I like to walk through this area and look at it the way that it once was. And when I see buildings, I somewhat see what once stood there superimposed with what is today. I would like to think that those who were here before us would be very happy with how we're embracing this today. When the uh, invention of the movie camera came out, films became very popular very quickly, uh, especially here in the territorial times. The very first uh, film exchange office, which was a, a place that traded in film and where you would go to rent your movies per se, actually opened in 1907 off of Main Street here. Um, the film exchanges grew very quickly. At one point up to 1965 we had over 300. Uh, I went ahead and wrote a book about the area called Oklahoma City Film Row. It came out last August, it was published in August, and it's available in any bookstore in your local Walgreens. It's a great reference for people who really want to know more about this area, and it's a great pictorial history because you really could see what was here before. You can stand here with the book and compare it to the buildings that are still here, unchanged, decades later. It's actually pretty amazing. I mean, when we first uh, started walking this area, Lots of boarded up buildings, this infrastructure and sidewalks were just crumbling, you know, it was dark and decrepit and, and uh, to, to actually walk the streets now with the, with the completed streetscape project, life back in, in the buildings, the energy down here, the shadow of Devon Tower now on us, it's, it's pretty incredible. Yeah, you know, initially it was just the collection of buildings that were kind of centered at Sheridan and Lee. They were interesting buildings, there was some nice Art Deco architecture. Uh, there was a building that had a keystone said the name Film Exchange. Didn't know what all of it meant, but started digging into some history uh, and discovered this incredible forgotten history uh, of this connection to Hollywood. It's just cool, you know. People, people, most people have no idea, and uh, uh, and now there's you know, uh, the IO Gallery, uh, restaurant Joey's Pizza. You know, so there's things to come down here and do. of this community is I've taken one small corner of our city and tried to put it back together again. And that's what I see as, as my role um, in, in the bigger scheme of things for the city of Oklahoma City. Uh, the first uh, reason I went down there, I had uh, David Wanzer uh, came to me and, and had written his uh, architectural uh, thesis on the district and written the history of the district, which indicated that it was one of the last surviving film exchange districts in the country. Most people in Oklahoma City were not aware of uh, the film exchange district's presence uh, in, in the history of our community. The, our historic buildings were built between 50 and 100 years ago. And from my perspective, I have, I get to be a, 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 a keeper of history, if you will, or got the ability to restore buildings that were once very prominent uh, from a historical standpoint and pass those on for, for uh, future generations. You know, at the end of the month, we've either made money or, or lost money. Uh, we don't create anything tangible uh, to show for it. And redeveloping historic buildings and historic real estate specifically, at the end of the day, we've got something to show for it. And uh, if, if I do have a legacy in this community, that's what I think it would be. Okay, so hopefully you learned something cool about Oklahoma City today, just like I did, because you know, this is the kind of stuff that kind of gets me excited. I want to hear though from uh, those of you out here watching these videos, 
kind of what you know around the city. What else you'd like to see us shoot and highlight? Because we've done a few of these now and we've got some awesome ideas, but what we really want to do is show off different districts of the town that get you guys excited. So please um, follow up with us. Hit us at showmeokc.com. You can hit us on that Facebook page, the Twitter page, or on the website itself. And just give us some feedback. Let us know what excites you and what you'd like to see on our next uh, OKC W3 video. Showmeokc.com.